I'm going to show you how to set up a Google business profile. So when someone Googles your business, it will pop up on the search result like this. Or on Google Map, if you advertise your location. People will also be able to review your business as well as quickly view other information. The only thing you will need is a Google account. A personal Gmail account works as well as a Google Workspace account. Then go to business.google.com and sign in. If your browser is already signed into this account, you will automatically see this. Enter your business name. If your business shows up here, that means someone has already created the profile for your business and you'll need to request access to it. So let's say this is my business. You'll see request access, click it, and then this email address will receive the request and it's up to them to approve it. On my case, my business is new, so we'll go back there. I'm gonna enter my business name here again and then select create a business with this name and then select continue. Then select your business type. If all three types are applicable to your business, select all of them, or you can just select one of them. If you select online retail, then click next, it will ask you for the web address. You can skip this later as well if you don't have one yet. As an example, we'll add stuff box over here and then click next. And then choose a business category, start typing a category over here. And if it's on the list, select it. If the category that you want is not on the list, you can just choose the closest one. You'll be able to add a custom category, which I'll show you once the profile has been completed. Then enter your business address. Even though you picked an online store, you still need to put a business address. If you don't want it to show up on your Google profile, you can select to hide that information once the profile has been created. Then click next, and then you'll be asked to add your phone number. You can click skip on this one or add it, then click next. Before we do this, let's go back to the business type and show you another business type. If you choose the local store and not the online retail, it will not ask you for your website. It will ask you for your business category as well as your business address. And then everything else is the same as the online retail store. Now, if you pick the service business and then click next, this will ask you for your business category. Let's put the proper one that I'm trying to create. Click next. And instead of asking for your business address, it will ask you which area you serve your customers. You can put multiple ones here or put none if you don't want to be too specific. Then enter what region is your business based in. Mine is in Canada. Then enter your phone number and your website if you have one. And we're back here to put your business on the map. If you want to receive email updates from Google regarding improving your business profile, click the check mark and then click continue. Now we'll ask you for your address. This is only going to be used for verification. When you enter your address, Google will mail you a verification number, which you can enter on your Google business profile to verify your account. Then click next. Now let's try verifying this account. Choose email code if you have an email address ready under your web domain. Google will email you a code to verify your account. If you select business video, you'll need to film your work area as well as your equipment. You'll also see more options over here, which you can then click verify later if you want to. And you can also choose to get verified by phone, which I think is the easiest and the fastest method. You will then be asked to choose text or call. When you click next, you'll then receive a code in about a minute so you can enter it here. You might find that sometimes phone verification is not possible. At that point, you might need to contact support or choose the type of verification that Google gives you. Once you're verified, click next and then add your business hours. If you're not sure yet, click skip and add it later. For messaging, if you have this on, customers will be able to send you messages from your Google business profile. Then add a business description. One or two sentences is good enough. Then add photos for your business. Take a picture of inside of your office or the products that you sell. Your customers will be able to add photos when they give you a review. Then Google will offer you a Google Ads credit. If you click claim credit, this will open another window and it leads you to Google AdSense. Then click continue. And now you'll see your Google business profile. Based on this check mark, my account is verified. If your account is not verified, 
The page will look like this and you'll see a get verified notification. If you were able to follow the steps, please let me know by clicking the thumbs up button. If you need to come back to this page in the future, type business.google.com and you'll see your Google business profile. If you skipped a few things during that setup and you're ready to edit again, click edit profile. From here, you can edit a lot of things. You can add more business category. You can add description, put opening date. You can also put social profiles. So we're going to do that right now. So social profile, I'm going to add my YouTube channel, put the link over here and you can add more. Then click save to add it. Once you've added it, you'll see this notice that your edit is pending. If for some reason you want to add or delete certain profiles, you can just go back to the social profiles and then click the trash can. And then make sure you click save. If you scroll down more, you'll see a few information that you can edit. From a search engine optimization point of view, you want to fill out a lot of the information here so you stand out from your competition. When you want to respond to your customer reviews, click read reviews. I currently don't have any reviews since we just created this. If you want to send a link to your customers so they can leave you a review, click get more reviews and you'll see the review link. So copy this link, then send that link via email, WhatsApp, or Facebook. On your Google profile, click the drop down and then click ask for reviews. You can see that same review link that you can send to your customers. If you want to modify your messages setting, click messages and then you can turn that on. Then click done and it will open the messages window. If you click chat settings, there's a few settings that you can turn on like read receipts, welcome message, FAQs, as well as manage when you are away. If you decided to turn off your chat settings, you can do it here. If you want to add a logo for your business profile, Click add photo, select the logo option, then drag your logo on this box and then click save. Then here refresh your page and you'll see the logo that you've uploaded. If you want to see some analytics on your business profile, click performance and you'll see the business interaction every month. I have zero right now because we just created this. If you scroll down, you'll see the $600 Google AdSense credit, which you can claim. And if you scroll down some more, you'll see how many people has viewed your business profile and how many times your business profile has showed up in search results. If you scroll on top, you'll see the number of calls you got per month. You'll also see the number of messages, how many times your bookings link was clicked, and how many times your website URL was clicked from your business profile. If you want to change the range or be specific with your performance review, you can change it over here. Now, if you are ready to advertise with Google AdSense, click advertise, and this will open the Google AdSense window. If you want to add products on your Google profile, you can click edit profile and then click get started. I don't think it makes sense to add your products over here because you're losing that traffic on your website. If you want to add or modify your services, click edit services, then select add more services, and then add custom service, then click save. Then you'll get a warning that it might take a day for your edit to get published. If you want to add your bookings link, click bookings, and then select add a link, then add your bookings link here. To see all the recent calls, click calls, and it will show you all the calls you got in the past. It will usually show you the incoming call from a Google number, so it's hard to call them back if you missed the call. If you want to add Q&A on your business profile, click Q&A. If you have a website, it doesn't make sense to add this here because you are losing website traffic. Same with add update. I don't think it makes sense to create an update on this if you already have a website. If you want to learn how to create a free website using Google Sites, Here's my video on that. And if you created a business profile, share the link on the comment below.